Hi guys and welcome to our new video. Today's topic will be how you can configure our WP data tables with 3.0 plus version. I'm here as always with Alexander. Hi guys. So we will now show you which settings you can configure to display your tables differently. Alexander, we can start. Okay, thank you. Um, all right. The documentation is under getting started configuring where you can see um, well, currently it's an old video, but we'll update it with the new one. Uh, so you can see everything you actually see in the um, settings tab. So let's move on to that. Under WP data tables settings, uh, under main settings, you can change the interface language. This is not the language that you can actually translate the plugin with, but the uh, language for the interface. Um, you can choose the date format, and we've got quite a lot not all formats are uh, currently supported but we will be adding them in the future so make sure to add it as a feature suggestion uh, you can change the time format between 12 and 24 hours uh, parse short codes in strings when this is enabled you can use short codes from other plugins and paste them into string type cells columns and the plugin mostly displays the shortcode, what the shortcode actually does. Uh, we cannot guarantee that it's gonna work for all other plugins, but mostly it works. Um, you can change the base skin of your tables. So there are six skins to choose from and light is the default one. So you can change them through here. Number format currently accepts only these two formats, uh, but we will be adding uh, new ones in the future. So again, uh, add a suggestion for us. Um, this is about the filter. So whether the filter is going to be in the header below the um, actual column headers or in the footer. How many decimal places will your floats have on your float num uh, numbers actually in the columns? What the CSV delimiter is going to be. So if you're importing a CSV file, it's important to choose what's the delimiter that you have so the plugin can actually read the CSV file. Um, how the tables are going to set, uh, sort in the admins page, so under here, if it's gonna be ascending or descending. Tablet width and mobile width are the default widths of uh, your mobile and tablet devices, which comes in handy when you're using the uh, responsive mode. So if you're hiding something on ta tablets, for example, all screens below this resolution will hide those um, columns. So if you increase this to 2000, this will apply to all screens with the width of 2000 pixels. So you can apply this to desktops yeah. as well. There's a work workaround for now. Yeah, for now, uh, if you wanna hide or use responsive feature on desktops, just increase this to a big number. Um, this allows you to change the number of tables that's, that are going to show up here in the, in the list of uh, tables on the front end. At the moment, the maximum is 50 tables per page. Uh, numbers aligned to the right as an Excel by default, but you can disable that. Um, these are labels for calculation functions. So the sum label is currently replaced with the Greek um, symbol. symbol, yes. Average is AVG. Uh, minimum is MIN and maximum is MAX. You can change that to be whatever you want it to be. So instead of max, you can say biggest mm -hmm. and it's gonna apply to your calculation functions. If these drop downs don't work in the back end or in the front end, it's a conflict with Bootstrap uh, files with the Bootstrap JS file coming from another plugin. Uh, solution would be to disable our bootstrap JS on the front end or on the back end, depending on where these drop downs do not work. If they don't work in the back end, you disable this checkbox. If they don't work in the front end, you would disable this checkbox. If it's still not working, reach out to us. Um, prevent deleting tables in the database. This is enabled by default and it prevents the tables from the database to be deleted when you delete the plugin from the plugins page. So if you accidentally delete the plugin from the page, all your work is still saved. If you uncheck this, for example, you don't wanna work with WP data tables anymore, you uncheck this, save changes 
delete the plugin from here and everything related to WP data tables will be deleted. Um, getting started is the uh, menu item here and you can enable this checkbox to remove it from the menu. Uh, also, light versus premium, where we compare the uh, versions, can also be removed if you enable this mm -hmm. uh, checkbox. Um, moving on. To Next step is separate database connections, but we already have a video for for this. Yeah. So we won't. We're, okay, we can show. We, we can, can show just how. Show quickly how to add a new connection. This will be local connection vendor MySQL uh, local host user and password uh, name let's say Amelia in the database driver um, test database settings successfully connected and save changes and successfully connected to the MySQL okay. server that's we have it. three vendors at the moment but you can see those vendors and how to work with them on our another video yeah um, okay color and font settings are well color and font settings for the plugin so you choose the font family here the size and the font color uh, that's used in cells uh, header you can change the background color of uh, your tables header so it can be Somewhere whatever you want it to be border font active and hover color um, you can choose change the row color cell color buttons mm, media and pagina pagination yes so okay so basically color yeah. coloring the, the tables exactly right the, okay yeah. custom js and css is where you would add some custom uh, javascript or custom css that will apply to all tables that you have so if you add some general um, CSS it would apply to um, all your tables but each table now has a customized section where you can add custom CSS for each table individually okay and this this option is actually using the minified uh, JavaScript files so your pages load faster okay. um, Google spreadsheet API settings this is covered in our documentation we also have a video for that yeah that's a new feature that's a relatively new feature and under here create tables using Google Sheets API um, it's all covered by the documentation and you can also take a look at the other video that okay. you have here and activation is where you enter your purchase code and activate the plugin so when you activate the plugin you're able to uh, update it automatically through the plugins page without having to do it manually and if you bought the plugin through the uh, Envato um, marketplace. When you click on activate with Envato, it takes you to log into your account and then it checks your account and automatically activates your license. Also, if you enter the purchase code that and uh, save the changes, that purchase code will be hidden from this page. Exactly right. Yeah. Okay, also you can see all the <coughs> add-ons and on that page as well, if you have any of yes, our add-ons add and also will appear. You, you can activate it like that yes add-ons will appear right here so under WP data tables the if you had gravity forms it would be here formidable forms right here master detail right here so each of them has their own purchase code um, field where you yeah. can enter the um, actual purchase code and activate the add-on okay thank you Alexander you're welcome thank you guys before we end the video Today we, we decided that we have a promo code for each of our videos. There are only 30 left, so the promo code would be configure. 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 Right. All right. So go grab the 10% discount for any of the licenses and for the add-ons as well. We'll add the code below the video so yeah. you can guys. Just you can just copy. paste it and buy buy the buy the product. That's right. Thank you again for watching. Let us know in the comment section below if you have any questions and see you in another video. Thanks guys. Don't, Don't forget, forget to, to like, share, share and subscribe. Bye. Bye-bye.